capitalism creates wealth and creates jobs. Uh, but we have a problem now that we maybe didn't have before, which is that increasingly there's evidence that it's not serving everybody. Wealth distribution is becoming increasingly strained. Uh, and we have uh, other issues around things like climate change and other sustainability issues, which means that we just can't carry on going as we have been. And increasingly that's leading to instability uh, in societies, and we've witnessed some of that political instability both in the UK and Europe, and also they're experiencing it in the US. So having a more inclusive and just way of running an economy is is the way that we can solve these problems and having a stakeholder economy rather than a shareholder driven economy has to be at the heart of that. The legislation is for business leaders and entrepreneurs. Right now, in the current company structure, it's very difficult often for them to pursue bro the broader value creation that their business can do on behalf of communities, employees, uh, the environment. What this is for is it's to give those business leaders a structure to enable them to intentionally pursue value creation for all stakeholders, not just for shareholders. Ultimately, all of society will benefit from that. There are 3.2 million companies, traditional companies limited by shares in the UK. This is relevant actually to all of them. Not yet, because many of those companies will find it really difficult to make those transitions. Some of the, cap the capital markets don't really understand this alternative. They have concerns about it creating confusion. All of these concerns need to be overcome and can be overcome because they're not real. And increasingly they are being overcome in other territories with a more developed benefit corporation kind of system. So ultimately 3.2 million companies could adopt this. benefits that I think are worth highlighting. The first one is, as a business, you attract better talent because young people want to work for purpose-driven organisations increasingly. The second thing is that you achieve strategic alignment with your investors. It enables you and frees you to build a business strategy which is around sustainability and around stakeholder value in a way you couldn't do if, the de if you were working within a default of maximising financial returns for shareholders. And the third thing it does is it gives a level of connection for your staff with what they're doing during the day. So they bring their whole selves to work and they see the business as a platform for them to affect the change they want to see in the world, rather than just making money for somebody else. So this will create clarity. The confusion at the moment is around whether a conventional co company limited by shares is effectively breaking the law or in breach of fiduciary duty by intentionally creating value for others in society. What this law, what this law would do would be to eradicate that confusion and create clarity, which is what markets need if they're going to be adopting alternative paths.